When my children were young, my son was a preschooler and my daughter was in elementary school, I juggled my job as a children's librarian and being a mother. My husband was very helpful whenever he was home, except that he had a job on Capitol Hill that had long and unpredictable hours, so lots of it was left to me. I was schlepping the kids to lessons and games. I was arranging babysitting and carpooling, and mostly just trying to keep the household running. But that May, he gave me a special Mother's Day gift. He gave me a whole day of beauty to the Stairway to Bliss Spa. It included a package for a facial, a pedicure, and a full body massage. I felt so lucky. I had never had anything like this before. Well, I decided to pick a Friday to go because I thought then I'll I could enjoy the full effects of all the treatments throughout the weekend. And besides that, Michael would be with my neighbor, Linda, who was his daycare provider after preschool, and my daughter would be in school. Perfect. So I went off. This was going to be a day just for me to be pampered and so relaxed. I arrived. And when I entered the spa, it had that spa smell. It was a combination of, I think, lavender and lemongrass. And then they handed me this thick, white, luxurious robe to put on. I put on the robe. I sat down. And they handed me a hot cup of herbal tea. I was already feeling better. So now they got started. I was going to have the facial, but they put my feet in a foot bath so I'd be ready for the pedicure. And a hot cloth, a hot washcloth was placed on my face to open up my pores. They removed it and then they used cleansing lotion full of vitamins that seeped into the open pores. And then she gently massaged my face with nice creams. I felt elevated. And then it was time for the pedicure. But the manager came by and said, oh, this is your first time at Stairway to Bliss. And so we have a little bonus for you. You get a manicure too. So now I'm soaking my hands in a little bowl while they're working on my feet. They scrub them, they wash them, they put on this sugar exfoliation, and then they topped it off with this milk and honey lotion. They massaged my feet all the way up to my knees. Ah, my face had been massaged, my feet had been massaged. And then they dried my feet, polished them. I chose this bright fuchsia polish. And that's what I had for my nails, too. When I was done, my feet were beautiful and probably as soft as my son's little feet. And my nails just perfectly matched. But the best was yet to come. I couldn't believe it. Now I get the massage. I enter the little room. Soft music is playing. They place a pillow on my eyes. And now all of those tight, achy muscles, muscles I didn't even know were achy, were being kneaded and relaxed. <sighs> when she was done, I felt like I had climbed the stairway to bliss and I was on cloud nine. Well, I got dressed, tipped all the ladies, and I left the spa, closed the door behind me, and walked down the hallway to the elevator. I was getting ready to push the button, and I thought, well, wait a minute. I'm 
I'm only one floor up, I often would take the stairs. It's extra exercise. And I thought, oh, I'll just go down the stairs. And so I did. And when I got down to the lobby level, I went to open up the door and, hmm, it wouldn't open. Oh, I thought maybe they just want me to take the elevator. I'll just go back up to the spa level and I'll get out there. So I go up there and I try that door. Nothing. <laughs> Surely this is a mistake. <sighs> I go up to the third level. I try. That door wouldn't open either. Now I'm getting nervous because this is only a four-story commercial building. There's only one floor up. I run up to that door. I try it. Nothing. I thought, maybe I'll just try them one more time. Maybe I need to turn the knob another way or turn it harder. So I go down to the third level, try, locked. Go down to the second level where the spa was on, locked. Go down to the lobby, locked. The realization was beginning to set in. I was locked in a stark white fluorescent lit windowless, windowless door stairwell. Just to remind you all, this was the days before cell phones. <laughs> no phone. And I'm looking at my watch, it's, it's two o'clock. Let's see, I need to meet Robin at the bus at 3.45. I still have time to work this out. Except my heart is starting to beat really fast. It's beating so fast that when I look down at my blouse, I swear I can see the material going in and out. My blood is just feeling so hot. And my skin is feeling prickly from it. I feel like all of the benefits of the spa day are beginning to just melt away evaporating. What was it going to do? I thought, what are my resources here? Um, my voice. My voice is strong. And my fists. That's what I'll do. I'll just knock on the door hard and I'll yell. First, I realized I needed to take a deep breath. I was so afraid of being locked in here that I wasn't breathing because my mind was just going fast forward to disaster. Who would pick up the kids? My husband would report me missing. Would I be staying here all night? Would I be staying here all weekend? My throat was dry. I had no water. We didn't carry around water bottles then either. <laughs> I had no food. I didn't even have a stick of gum. Back to the plan. My tools, my voice, my, my fists. I pounded on the door. Help, help, help. I'm locked in the stairwell. Help. I waited. Nothing. It was very quiet. I couldn't even hear a hum of an air conditioner or anything. In fact, there was no air conditioner. Now I realize I'm sweating. Oh, everything is just being undone. I, I, I pound again really hard. I kick the door. Uh-oh. There was my big toe on the door. Oh, there goes the pedicure. What am I going to do? I just oh, I didn't go to the Oh, wait a minute, don't do that. Oh, there goes the manicure. This is all just so wrong. I sat down on the stair, just trying to gain my composure, thinking, just relax. Try to relax, try to breathe. Except in those days, I hadn't discovered yoga. I thought maybe I should just run up again 
and try it. Maybe something would have changed. I ran up to the second level. I knocked. I banged. Third level, I knocked and banged. I went down. I am exhausted. Every muscle in my body is aching and my stomach is in knots. There went my whole nice day of relaxation. I was angry. I pounded on that door really hard. Someone and get me out of here. Somebody get me. Oh. Hello. The door opened. And a young woman was smiling at me. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem, she said. I walked to the to the elevator. I pressed the button and voila. The doors opened immediately. I rode down to the lobby level. I looked at my watch. I had been in that stairwell 35 minutes, but it felt like an eternity. And as I exited the building, I thought, this May Day in May was not at all what I expected. Thank you.